little bit. The gentleman lined up right beside him defensively. <laughs> Brooks is probably a large part of that reason. Number one at the bottom of your screen. The first possession will be in the hands of Indiana State. Game on with Arch Madness at Sabbath Center. Darren Brooks, you see number one, you saw him at the tip. A two-time Valley Player of the Year and two-time Defensive Player of the Year. That's never happened in Valley history. Well, he's a special basketball player, and we both know that. Adonish has an advantage against Warren if he can get isolated inside. Adonis had the shot he wanted. That's exactly the play that I'm sure that Royce Walton wanted. Just didn't have the results he needed. Underneath, Shaw was open momentarily. Good recovery, and then Greg had low to help. It's going to be out to Indiana State. Sycamores got the victory. Now, they had 44 first-half points in their play and uh, win. And usually they don't get that, you know, for a game. Well, they they almost ended with that too. They had ten deep into the second half. If they can get enough points, you know they're going to guard you. Gray launches. Jamal Tatum with the board for Southern Illinois. That's a good shot for him, but I think it still might have come a little more quickly than what Indiana State won. Shot was open the last time. Tatum. And he really cooled off. We had him against Wichita State in his, uh, the home finale, but he's one of 11 from three now in the last three games. Well, we watched him in practice just shoot the, just shoot the lights out. Donish gets Warren sealed underneath, and the first points are in the other state. And uh, uncharacteristic, no one on the backside to help him. Warren trying to return the favor, instead he walks. Not very deep into the game, and here comes here comes action and activity right here. This is exactly a replay of, of the ball game the other night when when guys don't do things on the inside. Out comes Warren, out comes Shaw, and in comes the new guy. Lamar Warren in the game. Outstanding bench player, last for the sixth man of the year in the valley. Donish gonna lose this one. A champion's going to be crowned at the end of the tournament. Did you know that St. Louis has its own world champion barbecue team? Super Smokers Barbecue. The only group from St. Louis ever to win a world barbecue championship. That same championship goes into every recipe and every piece of meat they put on the smoker. Super Smokers Barbecue, the best cue in St. Louis. If you're Indiana State, you're, you're frustrated with some turnovers, but you have to like the fact that you've got the ball when you want it. Lamar on is sneaky now, Spoon. When they get big games, he'll step up. He had 21 against Vanderbilt on a neutral floor in a Saluki ring. He's got he's active, he bounces around, he plays with a great deal of enthusiasm, just like he is there defensively. Royce Waltman upset with his team in recognizing the press. You know, some people would think Southern Illinois comes into this tournament. Well, shoot, we're going to go, go to the NCAAs. Their RPI is like 13. But these guys know this is the only thing that's kind of uh, they haven't got done. And there's Brooks with a great look at the three. I get a sense they're coming in here with the jaw lock. It seems that way. Their their uh, attitude is business like, and they've got they've got a lot of bounce in this step. We watched them when they were warming up. Owen just scored. That one's offline. Played three minutes, tied at two. If you're going to score against Brooks, you have to have two things, Mitch. You either got to be able to really put the ball on the floor well, or you're going to have to get a lot of screens. And I notice they're setting more screens today, Adler in particular, screening on the floor. Donish is going to go to the line. Randall Falker, who's here from uh, St. Louis, picks up the foul. And right now, Indiana State, Indiana State sees something they like, and that's Donish I showed in the post. Well, Donish, the thing that I think uh, that SIU is going to probably try to do is go inside and make Donish have to defend and hope they get him in foul trouble because he's a load offensively. Tony Young, this year's sixth man of the year in the Valley, coming in for Southern Illinois. Donish played at Cowley County Community College for Randy Smithson, the ex-Wichita State coach. 
Barely grazes rim that time. Three to two, Indiana State. When Indiana State wants to spoon, they can really guard. They're out. They've got good quickness. Their size is all right with this group right here. They do get into some small lineups when and if foul trouble occurs. Oh, nice defense there. Moss stepping in front of Brooks to force the turnover. Gabriel Moore. Moss has struggled against Southern Illinois. Four of 22 for David Moss during the season against the Salukas. And if you saw there, Mitch, there they back screened and then they go inside. Gray for the bonus point. Indiana State hustles for the offensive board. Something we saw him do last night in their win against Bradley. Good word to use for Indiana State because they do work. They play very, very hard. They reflect their coach's personnel. Pointed to shoot. Donish again, I showed, and another foul. He got a big on little underneath. Well, the, the double team caused that. Man. Three to two, Indiana State. Donish back to the line when we come back to St. Louis. Welcome back to the State Farm Missouri Mallee Men's Conference Basketball Quarterfinals. Indiana State leading Southern Illinois about five minutes into the game, three to two. Today's Prairie Farms Missouri Valley Conference Scholar Athlete is Indiana State's Jared Adler, a senior from Monroe, Indiana. Adler is a two-time second team Valley Scholar Athlete choice and is currently carrying a 3.9 GPA in social studies and history. Academics are important to the Missouri Valley Conference, so let's salute Jared Adler, today's Prairie Farms Missouri Valley Conference Scholar Athlete. Tim McKernan reporting for duty. Back over to Mitch Holtis and Charlie Spoonauer. Stop knocking the haircut, Holtis. I'll be down there with my clippers in a minute. Ranger school. <laughs> McKernan's at Ranger school. So has uh, Amani Donish, who's showed up here early for Indiana State. You know, he double doubled in Carbondale. He had a 13 point, 13 rebound game against the Salukis at SIU Arena. He's very active. He's not uh, he's not huge, but he's big enough to play inside because he bounces around. 5-2 Indiana State. The Sycamore is guarding the Salukis here early. A lot of new Salukis out there too. Man. We've got uh, a bunch of them. We got Dale out there. Brooks right now is the only original starter on the floor. Mm -hmm. Gabriel Moore, 20 to shoot. Once again, Donish Iso. There's a bump and a foul. And Amani Donish is a load right now for Chris Lowry's team. The thing that Donish does, see where he caught the ball, Mitch? He's out on the floor. He doesn't have to catch it just down on the block. He moves out 12 and 15 feet away. And then he, he still has the capability to put it on the floor. The interesting question, are you going to start doubling once he catches the ball? We saw him against Wichita State choose not to double in the post. Really, they're going to say, okay, it's one-on-one -on -one in the lane area. Donish gets fouled by Warren. That's four team fouls all on Donish, against Donish. And it's different people. That's the thing. I think that Chris Lowry is about to figure out uh, that he's <laughs> he may have to change the idea because that's the third different person that's tried to guard him. Owen got one. Falker got one. Warren gets one. It's going to be off Indiana State. You know the Sycamores when you look at them they come into this game 11 and 19. The two seed in this tournament is Wichita State. They beat them. Three seed is Creighton. They beat them. SMS had a seven game winning streak spoon. They beat SMS. They almost beat Southern Illinois. This is a sneaky nine seed. So they're going to play. That's the thing out of every night they're going to play. And the gentleman standing over there is the reason why. At the top left of your screen, Royce Walton. Shaw, very highly recruited player from Central Illinois, misses the shot. Question you always have, particularly with freshmen or people in their first tournament, conference tournament, how are they going to react? Salukis are one for seven to start the game. Donish slides, can't finish. 
has had open looks, Mitch, even when he's either got foul scored. Tatum trying to create something. In games we've had this year, that's about the third time he's passed the ball and got it himself. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. That's when you quit. Mike Dale hits a three. Now, there's an unlikely source to get your offense going. It's that kind of year for Southern. They go to their bench, and people seem to have stepped up all year long. Sign of a good team and a team that can win a tournament. Winning three in three days. Lots of troops on that Southern Illinois bench. Moss this time. Adler has hit a couple threes of late. Moss is all over the board. Southern Illinois has got a foul problem. Well, there's a <laughs> there's an interesting call right there. That was a man trying to draw a foul, and he did. And that was Moss. The thing you had Young guarding Moss, and here you see that was after the rebound. Right here now, all that is is a man that's going to try to get a foul, and he did. Make the officials make the call. Five team fouls on Southern Illinois, and we're at the 13-12 mark of the first half. And you mentioned Indiana State had to avoid foul trouble. They had, but now Southern Illinois, a little bit of a precarious position here early. Indiana State leads 7 5. Well, this is about the time of the game where one coach says, We foul five times as much as them. In addition to digital cable and high-speed internet, Charter Communications now offers local and long-distance telephone service. For rates in your area, call 1-800-GET-CHARTER and get hooked. Aaron Brooks would like to get his team hooked with a little offense here. Indiana State throwing a blanket on the Saluki team early. Elliot Boo in for Indiana State. There's the lob that we've seen Indiana State run. That's, that's the bad. Brooks got screened. By Adler, by Adler that on that play. Brooks missing an open 12-footer. Underneath, they've been threatening to score, and Brooks slipped in there to get a bucket. A nice pass by Tatum. Nice, nice looking up and seeing what's going on with Tatum. And a steal. Boo gets picked by Tatum. They were trying to sneak some minutes from Boo, because you know Indiana State's a little tired. And Roy's trying to squeeze a little extra off his bench. He's got to he's got to play different players because they played a hard game. Oh my! Another pick. Brooks has set an all-time SIU record in steals, or he's close. No, he has to set the record in steals. 252 career steals, 86 this year for an all-time record. And there's the sign of a big-time team to explode in a hurry. Well, they do it, Mitch. They didn't have to score with their offense. They scored with their defense. Four points, Saluki lead. Just right there. If you're careless with the ball for just a moment. Whoop. Speaking of, air ball from Russell Trudeau. Back to talk about the Salukis, defense and more, 11-7, Southern Illinois. Mitchell is back with Charlie Spooner, 11-7, Southern Illinois. Let's take a look at the Valley standings. Brought to you by Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Well, there you see it. There's where they ended up the year. Southern Illinois first, where most people picked them, and Indiana State probably pretty close to where everyone thought they'd finish. This season, though, there were so many teams that made runs. Wichita State, at one point, dominated the league, for, and then at the end of the year, things fell off. SMS, as you mentioned uh, the other day, up and down. Some days as good as anyone. 
Southern Illinois even with there you see their run they scored six points in a 45 second span actually less than that Charlie. 23 seconds it started with Tatum's pass underneath to Brooks and then Tatum and, uh, and Brooks with the steal and you go from 7 5 behind to 11 7 ahead that quick every team in this league went through a span where they didn't think they could win much Southern Illinois went through it as well now since then they've won 10 of 11 and 8 in a row but this team struggled now back in uh, late January early February I think there was a point in January Mitch, where they weren't sure that they could play well against the zone they, they didn't move uh, very effectively they, they they were finding themselves their bench was not nearly as strong different people were playing remember Owen was starting the ball games in. Well, let's just put it this way right now only the University of Illinois undefeated has more wins than Southern Illinois. They're tied with a group of teams. But it tells you that this team is pretty good at 25 and 6. Tatum trying to create something crosses over the ball's not going in on those field goals. They got a wreck. It's picked up by David Moss. Only five people hit the floor. Trudeau just airballed. He's on target this time. One air ball and one dead center. Of course, he, he did the very same thing last night. Came in, missed one badly, and drilled the next one. Had 12 in an overtime winning at Southwest Missouri State. That's his 13th three ball of the year. Royce Waltman trying to squeeze a little something from his bench. You can see he's putting guys in at different spots. His first five was outstanding to start the game, but those guys can't go 40 minutes. Now he's got Snicker in there now chasing Tatum, and he's doing that on a bad ankle. Harrison. Warren, the benefit of Brooks, keeping it alive. Shaw fouls by Abby. Very good effort on the offensive board by Southern Illinois. And here comes fresh horses riding in for, for the salute. Shaw will have Southern Illinois' first free throws of the game. 73 percent shooter, very highly recruited, as I mentioned. Here comes the line change for you, Sven. <laughs> Putting in the penalty killer lineup. Shaw is still trying to find himself. But it is noteworthy. The 10 and 1 in their last 11, that coincides when he came into the starting lineup. Well, they certainly get a lift off the bench. When they go to the bench with Falker and Owen. Yeah. And sure, Shaw contributed as a starter, but I think you've hit it. As much as that, they got into a rhythm bringing those other guys in off the bench. Lamar Owen, I think, wants to come in off the bench more than be a starter. Seems like him. Well, he's he's adjusted. Of course, that was a role he had. So it's not it's not a huge adjustment. Great little give it and go to Gabriel Moore. A lot, lot clogged up underneath. The one too many passes. Then there's there are times you can be a little too team oriented. Royce Waltman is looking for some Prano. It was just clogged up under the goal. 11 10 Saluki. Again, most of it created. The six that are 11 came in a 23 second span. And look at this lineup. Look who's guarding Falker right now. It, and also getting the rebound right here. The man who hit the game, win, the game winning shot last night. Brandon Ray. There's Donish. He's a load. Blocked by Falker. Ray tried to throw it back in. Again, though, Donish with a great look at the basket. He's abusing the post defenders at this point. He's just not getting the ball in the goal. Brooks on the back cut. Ray with just enough defense. So Royce Waltman's got what he wants. 8.33 remaining in the first half. It's 11 to 10. He trails by one and could lead if Gray hits the shot. Gray got an open look again. The ball just didn't go in the basket. But this is the type of ball game that the Sycamores need. They're hanging in this basketball game, and the longer they stay, the more, the more problems it is for Southern. And a steal by Trudeau. Now it's Falker's turn. You see him in the post trying to defend Amani Donnie. Nice defense. 
Bonnie's almost had him sealed in there. He just, he just fought and got around. That was good quickness by Falcon. Bonnie showing a little fatigue here. One point lead for Southern Illinois. And Trudeau also holding his shorts. Shaw with a side clear. Good defense by Ray. 12 to shoot. Southern Illinois now has had some chances. This is going to be a foul on Southern Illinois trying to get the miss back. That's 16 fouls on the Salukis. Shaw's had it underneath three times, Mitch, and just hadn't been able to convert. The one seed is struggling. Southern Illinois now in the top 25. RPI 13 leading Indiana State, but it's been tough. 11 10, 7 25 left in the first half. If you're looking for this season's hottest styles, Aero Postal provides the hottest athletically inspired clothes for guys and girls from store locations. Go to the website, aeropostal.com. A E R O P O S T L E.com. Proud to sponsor the Valley. Donis, this time a double team. 17 to shoot. Gabriel Moore shows some athleticism. And all of a sudden, SIU trails by one. Hairston. Warren, no catch. Donish plays defense. Indiana State making it tough here. Schnitker a little sped up. <laughs> and Royce, Royce went to went to both knees that time. <laughs> You wonder how you get to be gray headed. <laughs> that is not a life of quiet desperation. That's the man that's beaten the floor today. Oh boy, the Royster. There's a hole that's going to be on Moore trying to hang on to Tony Young. Not very many fouls, though, and that's important if you're Southern Illinois. Or, excuse me, if you're Indiana State, they cannot afford to have to go any deeper on the bench than what they do. Only two team fouls and only one post foul on the Sycamores. SIU has the ball under the goal. And Mike Dale hits another three. He's only got nine, uh, 18 for the season. He's got two in this half. Two in this half. When they definitely need him, they need help. Usually made down. Here's a hole that's going to be on Young on Schnitzer, and this puts Indiana State in the one and one. Schnitzer was curling then. He's a good shooter, 75 percent, Mitch from the line. The thing about him is, if he could stand and shoot with a bad ankle, he'd probably be fine. But when a team as quick as Southern push puts pressure on, then that forces him to move around and makes it tough. You know, I don't think we really know how much pain that this kid is playing with. He was biting a towel. We saw a highlight a little bit ago. I think he's just trying to gut it out here. Free throw down. Schnitzer's a 72% shooter, but I think he's trying to give it all he's got. And I'm not sure he's got a whole lot. He'll try. He was trying to defend down there, and they have to give him some extra help. But put him on the line, and he's pretty effective right there. It is a 14-14 game. The nine seed is tied to one seed. And the four-time regular season champion, Saluki, with 6.04 remaining in the half. Tatum still cold from three. Schnitger, and he stepped out. Good, good effort by both teams. Schnitger hustling. Dale hustling. He's having a, he's having a nice half. Right? Shooting the ball, chasing it down. A reminder. 5.55 remaining in the first half. 14-14 time. Lazy pass, and Gabriel Moore is going to make the Salukis pay. Not nearly as many fans, but they're starting to get a little friskier. Indiana State has some fouls to give. A reminder, when the Valley takes its cameras around the league, these properties serve as our league's home away from home. Go to these websites. It'd been great to spoon in myself all winter when visiting your favorite Valley team on the road. They've been a little nicer to spoon than me, but I'm used to it now. 
You got friends everywhere, buddy. I'm concerned about I Believe over there where he gets his place. We're going to check out I Believe in a second. Now, Tatum finally gets going. One of his last 12, but he finally gets a three. He's 38% for the year from three. The ball looks good coming out of his hand. I'm surprised when he doesn't score. Gray got a rest, gets fresh legs to shoot this one. A little too fresh. It's out of bounds. 17 16, Southern Illinois at the 508 mark. That's got to be frustrating because you get, a, you get a very, very good shooter open for his shot, and the ball just doesn't go in the basket. Chris Lowry attempted to become the first person in Valley history to play in the NCAA tournament and coach in the NCAA tournament as a head coach at his alma mater. Owen. Wow. Mm. Mm. Hard to find baskets right now if you're Southern Illinois. It's a uh, good defense and, and good effort. And Sycamore. Just hit from that spot. Get paid him another one. We've talked about him. He looks he looks so good shooting the basketball. That's the thing. 22 in a big bracket buster win at Kent State. Southern Illinois won the Las Vegas tournament earlier, beating UTEP and Vanderbilt on a neutral floor. Great year for the Valley this year. 74 wins and just 30 losses in the non conference. Winning record against the BCS football leagues. open with the double team and not able to finish so we've seen Southern make an adjustment they're not just letting Donish go one on one they're trying to keep him from that you've got to wander when Moss is going to get some attempts on goal also Adler just missed a three short on that one who can make him those the last two ball games he's hit big three That Brooks gets a three out of it. Well, I'll talk about this three. There was a lot going on there. As, as Mr. Ivey used to say, those guys were busy right there because that ball was going everywhere. Mentioned David Moss, four of 22 from the field. Has yet to shoot in this game, but Donish has shot. Made those early. It's going to be a hold underneath. Darren Brooks, the Valley Player of the Year. Able to get a little separation. The Salukis lead by six. <laughs> Doug Kaiser's Indiana State band. Some think the best in the league. Right now, their team's trailing by six. 313 left in the first half. A champion's going to be crowned at the end of this tournament. Did you know St. Louis has its own champion barbecue team? It's the Super Smokers barbecue team, the only group from St. Louis to ever win a world barbecue championship. The same championship goes into every recipe, every piece of meat they put on the smoker. Super Smokers Barbecue, the best Q in St. Louis. I had some last night. Terry Pretty Black. good, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It's always good. That's the thing I like. I love the brisket. You don't sneak that into the ballpark for the Cardinal game, do you? It's there. They have it they at have the it baseball there. game. Don't have yes, to sneak it in. Don't have to do that anymore. Donish has five points. He has three of those at the line on four attempts. Missed shots has doomed Indiana State here on their upset bid. That, in fact, they just, two of the guys that you're counting on to score have not got a basket yet, have not got a field yet. Has Moss shot it yet? Has Moss shot it. No shots, and I think 0 for 4 for. Uh... There is an example of why he's player of the year. Team struggles, and he just plays. And he's against David Moss, one of the better defenders. Eric Gray, I'm sure, feels like he's the other guy you're counting on to score. He and Moss. There's a double team again. 
Gray gets it on the extra pass. Indiana State stays scrappy. Donish. Wonder what they went over in team meeting. Throwing it inside the dunk. <laughs> I would say that that might have been a point of emphasis. Yeah. Six point lead for the Salukis of two minutes remaining in the half. Hairston trying to get the scorebook, not this time. Offensive foul. Let's take a look, Charlie, at Darren Brooks, a little one on one work. He just he just goes at his pace. That's, that's the thing about it. He doesn't get flustered, gets a little separation, leans back and shoots it. And that's not against an easy man. That's a tough defender he shoots. shoots so, over. Some of you are watching him for the first time. Now he leads his team in scoring, rebounds. He has five assists a game, three steals a game. He's ninth in the NCAA in steals. What he does is really remarkable. There, there's no cavities in his game. No, there are none. And he's he worked on getting assists. That's something that he himself has stressed. Has stressed. But he rebounds the ball. He's led him in assists the last five ball games. Shoots 40 percent from three. Made him step through. That's a little too much. The thing that you don't see Darren Brooks do, or if you do, it's very rare. Is force the action and, and get himself in positions where he can't be successful. He plays at his pace and makes the game go at his pace. Jennings High School from here in St. Louis, the thing I like, he was a high school quarterback. He can play college football, but he plays this game the same kind of intelligence and toughness. He's such a good quarterback. Let's see if Moss going to shoot it. There's his first attempt. Not so much. Rebound to Warren. Which he didn't seem as though he was thinking about shooting the ball. He had it with a, with a look quicker than the one that he, when he put it on the floor. He's a scorer. He averages 15 a game. He had 29 against Butler, 28 against Northern Iowa, 24 against Evansville. Looks as though Southern's going to wait for the last shot. There's about four separation on the clocks. Of a nappy first half here. There's Brooks. Backdoor cut. Pretty good look by Schnitker. And the half is going to end. Take a look at the clock and the work. Two great seniors working together. Well, that's the, that's the way things have gone for Southern Illinois. They can rely on people. Stetson Harrison with the ball here. Good pressure. There's the back cut. Just like playing in the backyard, Mitch. If you if you're playing touch football and you let a guy run around all the time, he's eventually going to get open. And that's what to, he did. Let's go to Tom Ackerman with our coach. Coach, uh, tight first half. You were able to pull away late, but we missed five layups. I think when you miss point blank range layups, you give them an opportunity to get their head up. And we got to finish plays off underneath. Thanks. We'll see you in the second half. Thank you. All right, Tom. Thanks, Valley Coach of the Year, Chris Lowry. Mercy Health Plans bringing us our chat with the coaches, an innovative health management company empowering members to make healthy choices. Mercy Health Plans, the way we care makes all the difference. Indiana State tough on defense against the number one seeded team in the tournament, but Southern Illinois, a little flurry in the last 10 minutes. Royce Waltman's team is battling, but they're down eight to Chris Lowry's Salukis.